Hello, uh, my name is Josh Wheatley. This is my Petra Kucha on how I'm going to advertise the Goodyear Efficient Grip 2 tyre uh, and why I think it will work in the current market uh, with my research highlights, strategy, my insights and my proposition. This is Charles Goodyear. Uh, so he dedicated his life to the experimentation and progression of rubber. Uh, he passed away in 1860. And in 1891, uh, the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company was founded in Akron, Ohio, by Frank Siebeling in the Pioneer's Honour. Um, so they've always had an, a respect of innovation. Um, and Goodyear are a company of firsts. Um, so they made the first detachable tyres in the world. Um, they made the tyres for Ford's Model T, which was the first mass-produced car in the world. Uh, they put the first tyres on the world with Apollo 11, and they also invested in their blimps, which are an example of guerrilla marketing. So Forbes mentioned Goodyear as America's most respective automotive company. Automotive company, sorry. Um, I spoke to Jim Brooks from JSB Motors, uh, and he said Goodyear have a very good reputation in the industry. Uh, customers often just go cheap, though, as they overlook the impact of tyres on the vehicle as a whole. Um, so this is a shot from uh, their most recent campaign um, by GS and Deer. Um, all the outcomes kind of focused on Goodyear being right next to people as they like chase their dreams and work hard through their journey. Um, they kind of featured sports they're linked with as well, like NASCAR and American football, and even used the term be blimp worthy, which I thought was really interesting. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, one of these cars starts at £31,000 and the other starts at £13,000. Uh, so I'd be amazed if anyone couldn't tell me which one's which, um, because we just know it culturally now, we've seen them around, and also it's almost just intrinsic at this point. So here are three tyres, um, one's valued at £44, £61 and £99. Now, on the adverse of what I said before, I'd be very impressed if anyone could tell me which one's which, and that's because visually speaking, um, tyres are essentially just black circles of rubber. Because it's not the way they look that determines the value, it's how they feel and how they behave. Uh, so the market currently for tyres is essentially the same, same but different. It's the same product with little tweaks. So, you know, they're either designed for wet or dry or they're designed for, um, you know, they've got different grip treads or whatever. But it is essentially, there's, there's, no, there's no outlier there, there's no big lead tyre. Um, but that changes now. So this is this is the one. This is the Grip 2 Efficient Tyre, and it has outstanding wet and dry braking um, and the quality associated with the Goodyear standard that we mentioned before. Um, but the bit that sets it apart, really, um, is it'll take you 20% further than the next best tyre. So this is the new standard in tyres. Um, so for our audience, uh, the brief said city car slash luxury car owners. Um, so I took from this both groups either spend extra money on a luxury car uh, or on a necessary car as they're in a city with an infrastructure. So they're choosing to drive because they enjoy driving and they're willing to invest in their experience driving. So to take a deeper dive into this, I wrote a persona for my audience. Um, so a 44 year old guy that is financially stable. Whether it's golf, coffee or cars, he likes to have the best bits of kit. Uh, he's very competitive, he lives in a reasonably affluent and safe part of a major city and when he can justify it, he takes pleasure in treating himself and others. But his life revolves around his competitive nature. Uh, so in the, in the film American Psycho, the office culture is all about this. They all try and one-up each other with like haircuts, uh, expensive suits and stuff, you know, dinner reservations, but also business cards. There we go. Um, so this scene in particular is the one. So they all kind of compare the cars they've just picked up um, and they've all got little tweaks on them. So one will have like a suave colorway or like raised typeface or like a watermark. And each of the characters gets slightly antagonized whenever one of them has something they don't. So imagine if the cars were 20% different. OK, so that's what we want to focus on. You know, essentially the nature of tires works in our favor. Because everyone has to change their tyres at some point. Because tyres do die. It's very sad. Um, but when they die, why would you choose a tyre that's 20% worse than the best in the market for a relatively similar price? Yep, so coronavirus. Um, with, all, with the lockdown we've had in like response to COVID-19, we've all got an increased sense of appreciation uh, for what we used to have. Whether it's, you know, you miss your partner who lives far away or, you know, your favourite cafe, whatever it may be. 
there's a huge amount of anticipation to get back to what we love uh, when it's safe. Yeah, so for our target, with this in mind, for our target audience, um, it'll be driving. They'll miss the feeling of driving and not for necessity, like to the shops or the pharmacy, um, but for pleasure and passion. Um, almost like the feeling when you first pass your test, you know, and you get that like newfound freedom or when you buy a new car. Um, this brought me to my insight, actually. Um, so nothing is new forever. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so the target audience would dream about a new car because it's that feeling of, you know, like enhancing the feeling that they love, what they love to do every day. Um, but once you get that new car or you get that new anything, really, sadly, the magic does wear off. That's just, you know, part of life. Um, but yeah, they want the new car in the first place so they can drive it. They want the sensation, the feeling. But say you've got your car now relatively new and you're kind of losing that edge. What do you do? You know, how do you change your current car into a new car without, you know, spending all that money on it? And this brought me to my proposition, which is same car, new drive. Um, so what you can do is change the tyres. So the tyres will be the difference. They can completely change the drive of the car itself without changing the car. Um, so it will make you feel the same way about driving as when you first passed your test or when you did when you first left the dealership. So the voice. Um, so the brief says truthful, playful and straight to the point. Um, but also I think it's important that we need to show that we have their passion and feeling for driving in mind and we respect the nuances of what they love. We need to talk to them. Thank you very much.